So everyone, it's me, Attacker Simity2 here in today's video. So today, guys, I want to be discussing a rumor regarding our next DLC fighter for Fighters Pass Volume 2. And this character for Fighter Pack 7 is rumored to be a character from Pokemon, which is really interesting since we don't really have any new Pokemon that has been added, aside from Cinnaroar, but I meant a character from Generation 8, which is Sword and Shield. So, I want to be discussing this whole rumor, so with all that out of the way, let's just get started. So right now, I'm at the Dexerto web website. I don't know how to pronounce the website name. Is it Dexerto? Is it Dexerto.com? I don't know. But these, this article says here, Is Smash Ultimate 7 DLC a Pokemon? Pokemon Trial Spark Speculation. As it says further, it says this. With the fighting game Pokemon Tournament having a free trial on Nintendo Switch, some new theories have popped up suggesting that this could be a sign that the next o Smash Ultimate DLC is Pokemon related. On July 22nd, Nintendo revealed that the Tekken-inspired Pokemon fighter, Pokemon Tournament DX, would be free to play from July 29th to August 4th. In the past, the company has made certain games free when they would have a Smash DLC character introduced. For instance, pr prior to Fire Emblem's Violet being available, they made Fire Emblem Warriors free to play for a limited time. Then, when they announced that an ARMS fighter would be joining the Smash roster as DLC 6, they made ARMS free to play for anyone with a, with a Nintendo Switch online membership. And this tweet right here is from Nintendo America, and it says this, The fight rages on. Hashtag Nintendo Switch Online members will be able to experience the full fighting Pokemon game. Hashtag Pokemon Tournament DX from July 29th to August 4th at 11.59pm. Pre-download pre the, the trial now. A Twitter user, Psycho Red, also says this. Do I smell a Pokemon character coming to Smash soon? And as further down, it also it states, With this knowledge in mind, fans on Twitter have begun to theorize what this could mean for Smash. Remember how we got an ARMS game, f full game trial? Wouldn't it be funny if we got another Pokemon in Smash after this Pokemon trial? Phantom, as Keenan remarked, others appeared to draw the same conclusions, writing about how this free Pokemon Pokemon trial could lead to a future Pokemon DLC character. The speculation also spreads the GameFAQs forums, where official, where user Official Potato explained how the recent first-party DLC fighters have had their free trials of their franchises before they were added to Smash. It should be noted that this doesn't confirm that a Pokemon will be the seven DLC fighter. It has been long speculated that one will be coming in some in Fighters Pass Volume Two. This also doesn't mean that the Pokemon has to be necessarily from Pokemon. As it stands, Charizard, Lucario, Pikachu, and Mewtwo are all speech features in both titles. Even Pikachu Libre makes an appearance as an alternate costume in Smash. Another Twitter user named Bernie Brando says this, that it pretty much listed that the arms is free for one week and then gets an arms fighter. And then, Pokemon gets a free trial for one week, and this could possibly lead to a Pokemon character. And now it says here, Regardless, there are still 5 more DLC spots to come as far as Fighters Pass Volume 2. The final 11 spot is set to be revealed, release, revealed and released by December 31st, 2021. So there's a lot of time left for Nintendo to crank out all the content. Only time will tell if this theory with Pokemon and Smash ends up panning out or flat or falling flat. So that's the theory, guys. This is, was this was the rumor that people has been talking about. So um, in my opinion, I felt skeptical about this because this is entirely what they mean. This is what entirely what Sakurai meant about the whole Smash speculation. Whenever they, whenever Nintendo mentions a game for like that is a huge game seller, they all of a sudden Smash fans. They just all of a sudden just burst out speculating. Now, don't get me wrong. I would love to see a Pokemon. I would personally would like to see Urshifu or Toxtricity. Maybe something from, maybe a character from Poke like Pokemon Sword and Shield. Any of those characters are fine. But sometimes we just need to calm down right now. I had to go deal with Geno pretty much being like speculated because of the whole GameStop thing when GameStop admit that it was just a mistake it was definitely just taken way out of context this Nintendo just straight out flat out I don't know like showed 
that Pokin is going to have a free trial. And I get that ARMS and Fire Emblem Warriors got a free trial for only one week. But that's kind of only because, in my personal speculation, I kind of find that they just want to promote the game more. Like, I get Fire Emblem is hated a lot just because of how many Fire Emblem characters are in Smash Brothers. I mean, I know I you can see, but you get what I mean. But... Let's be honest, they kind of just want to promote the game more. ARMS pretty much hasn't been mentioned in nearly, like, a, like three years, so they kind of want to promote the game more by just adding a fighter, which is Min Min. Pokin, now Pokin, I honestly forgot that game exists, honestly, and I'm, I'm, can, and I don't, I don't know a single person who still plays Pokin Tournament, and I really don't know anyone who still plays this game, but in my opinion, I just kind of felt that this is not... I kind of felt that this is just somewhat not real. Like, as of all leaks, especially 4chan leaks, we do not trust 4chan at all. I just kind of felt that maybe Pokemon is not going to be Smash Bros. as a DLC character. I mean, as much as I want to, but I kind of honestly prefer, like, characters like, I don't know, maybe a Zelda character or Xenoblade Chronicles 2 characters like Rex and Pyra and Mithra. You can't forget those two. Those characters were supposed to be added, but never. Just never, but it became me costumes. Arm gets a fighter for some reason. I don't know. There's so much going on. But I'd like to know what you guys think of this. Do you think a Pokemon character is coming to Smash Ultimate's DLC character? Like, well... Is, is another Pokemon, is is a Pokemon going to be coming to Smash as a DLC character? And if you think it is, let me know which character do you think it is. Because like I said, I want I either want Urshifu or like Toxtricity. Those characters, I'm fine with. I never played, and oh yeah, I forgot, I kind of want to mention this. I've never played a single Pokemon game in my life. The characters seem cool, because I just want them, even though I never played the games. But I still want them anyway, but still... Um, let me know what you guys think of this. Do you think a Pokemon is going to be our next DLC fighter? And if not, let me know which other characters do you want as Fighters Pass 7. And let me know when do you think we should possibly get a reveal. Honestly, I like to wait. So, with all that out of the way, leave a like, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell for more videos. And I'll see you guys next time. Remember this, once a legend, always a legend.